Let's not get it twisted. I'm not super into the Democrats. I think they're a poor <sighs> level of support toward progress. But, you know, it's not like Bernie was on the ballot. <laughs> And Bernie would have been the best president we could have had back in 2016. But it's 2024. Bernie's super old. And I guess all we have is AOC going forward. If you're more on the leftist side of American politics. Not that she's not fucking good but no juice in that there's no power and we sold this country out to a petty fascist who just wants to avoid prison I think we all knew this, or I assume we did. Actually, I don't assume we did. I assume those who spend more than 10 minutes a month reading shit knew this. But 50% of American voters were like, I don't know about the economy. So I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Has he promised mass deportations? I don't know. I don't watch the news. Has he made threats toward queer people? I don't know. I don't watch the news. And yet you fucking vote. And yet you vote. What are you voting for? What is your thing? Idiots and assholes are running this country. That's where we are. And I hope we're proud of it. And I use the royal we because I am an American. And am I patriotic? Not really my thing. My father served in the military in Vietnam. My grandfather served in Korea. And I didn't serve. I wasn't terribly interested. I had a moment of thought where I thought that's where I wanted to go, but, like, I sincerely don't dislike non-white people, so not sure why I wanted to go shoot them up. And I don't necessarily think that American military force is much more than enforcing the hegemony of European colonialism. I know this sounds wildly leftist, and I get that. Because it is. Like, in children's terms, if Thanksgiving is about Indians and pilgrims getting together and having a great dinner together, then... Your whole view of the world is based on, like, Dr. Seuss books' versions of history. And you're good with that. Not sure why that would be the case. It would be embarrassing if you were able to be embarrassed. Because otherwise you could get educated. And on that, I would offer, like, FD signifier. Again, second thought, you got Nick the program, thought slime, non-compete. There are a thousand channels in which you can find some way to have a better view of this planet than what CNN, Fox, and MSNBC are going to offer you. This isn't conspiracy theory shit. This is like, use ground news. I'm not sponsored, but many of the people you're going to see are looking for a source that tells you how to tell right from wrong. 
I have literally 30 fucking subscribers. I'm not here to dictate the world. But my God. Wake up. Expect better and do better because I don't have children. I'm 51 years old. I'm not having children. I'm quite comfortable with the end of my existence being <sighs> the end of my suffering. But if you had kids and stuff, what do you want for them? What do you want for them? Ask yourself, figure it out. If you somehow saw this video, a like and subscribe would do fantastic. Uh, I can't imagine we're all off to worry about sponsors, but like seriously, if you're an absolute amateur at this, go find ground news. I think Sam Cedar or um. Rational and National, or... Like, a lot of them have this link as a thing. So go find the code. Also, go, 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 go watch those channels. Go watch those channels. They're super good. Uh, I very much, particularly... I do also occasionally check out, like, Pob State America, which you're going to be like, is, that's just straight-up Democrat politics. Yeah, it is. Outside of John Lovett, none of them are progressive to my level of progressiveness, but they're kind of honest. They're kind of just like promoting a way forward. It's boring to me how minimal their progress is. But still worth considering. If you want to go more leftist, of course, as I've said, Thought Slime, Non Compete, Ugopnik, The Deprogram, Second Thought, Hakeem, do all those. Do all those. Get informed, get aggravated, and find solidarity. There are people who care about you. And they may not look like you, and they may not be your family. But within the leftist realm, to steal from Kuntanan is where we go one, we go all. Stand by each other, and don't let the right wing dipshits tear you apart. We'll be here if you need us. And I speak for channels I've never met the people on. If you go ask a second thought or Hakeem for explanations on how to become more leftist with a sincere position, they will help educate you. They will direct you to things you need to see. There are a million points of view you could have. If you want to see them. And if you find what happened to my country hard to see. And my country's America. Which means it's. Going to destroy the whole fucking planet. Well. See where you are. I'll keep talking about other sources you should see. <sighs> but be well. Do well. And get engaged. The world moves fast. The best thing you can do is learn to move fast. And if you're not there, be where you are, but like, Decide who you are. And if you're like a right wing dipshit. And that's who you actually are. Well. I guess. We disagree. And I don't agree to disagree. I just fucking disagree. 
I've given you sources. I've told you what I think the thing is. Do the best for yourself. But remember, the best world is where everyone gets better. Where are you?